everyone. In this video, you will explore the components of a miniature circuit breaker and understand its trip and reset mechanism. Miniature circuit breakers are designed to prevent damage to electrical circuits caused by excess current. They automatically trip during an overload or short circuit to protect against electrical faults and equipment failure. Now let's take a look at the internal structure of an MCB. You can see how the different components of an MCB come together. Components include terminals, static contacts, arc extinguishing electrodes, arc chamber, springs, operating handle, three axis main beam, trigger cleat, connecting wire, moving contact rod, solenoid, and bimetal. All electrical connections inside the MCB must be welded together. MCBs typically provide two types of protection, short circuit protection and overload protection. Short circuit protection is provided by a solenoid. When short circuit current passes through the solenoid's coil, it causes the actuator to move backward. The end of the actuator strikes trigger cleat. Overload protection is provided by a bimetal strip. When the current exceeds the thermal rating of the breaker, the bimetal strip slowly bends until it strikes the trigger cleat. However, some MCBs do not have this protection. Now here's a question for you. Do you think MCBs can be repaired? Please share your thoughts and comments in the section below. Stay with us as we continue the video. Next, we will examine how the trip and reset mechanism works. When the operating handle is pushed upward, it moves the beams to push the moving contact forward and secure it in place. Meanwhile, it charges a spring to ensure that when the circuit needs to be interrupted, the spring releases the moving contact rod. Now you can see when short circuit occurred, how the MCB tripping the circuit. When the solenoid actuator or bimetal strip strikes the trigger cleat, it releases the double buckle beam, causing the spring to pull the moving contact rod backward, tripping the circuit, and the operating handle switches to the off state. When the breaker trips under load or during a short circuit, a large arc forms at the contacts that are opening. This arc is divided into smaller sections within the arc chamber and extinguishes more quickly. For two-pole and three-pole MCBs, the operating principles are the same. Each MCB consists of several separate units for each phase. The operating handle of these units are connected to each other, so when one unit trips, the others will also trip. Next, we will examine the information marked on an MCB. You'll find details such as tripping curve class, rated current, operating voltage, braking capacity, energy class, circuit and operating symbols, standards compliance. We hope you found this video informative. For more information and to watch other educational videos, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts with us. Until the next video, goodbye.